Welcome once again to The Breakfast. And now let's move our conversation to Edo State, where the Edo State government has put out a statement um, in response to the planned coronation of a sultan of Shua Arabs of Edo State. Uh, we are speaking this morning with uh, Curtis Ubo, who's the president of Benin Solidarity Movement. Good morning, uh, Mr. Ubo. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, my brother. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so I, I want you, you know you to first of all share your thoughts uh, with regards the planned coronation. Um, yes. How did that news hit the residents of Edo State and the Edo indigents? Yeah, uh, there's, uh, there's tension here right now. And uh, we are not happy about what is going on. We cannot uh, imagine uh, people, strangers, coming to our land to swear in a sultan or coronate a sultan in our kingdom. So we are all totally against it and uh, we are all agitated already. Okay, so, so what exactly is the challenge? If, if there is a Muslim community in Edo State, um, yes. So don't, don't they deserve to have their own, you know, type of traditional leadership um, no, you know, no. in, in, the, in the presence of a sultan? We know we have a traditional laws that rules the, the state and every other state in the federation. Yes. Yeah, we cannot, uh, I cannot go to Bonu State now and say I want to be an Inogie. They want to be coronated as an Inogie in Bonu State or in Adamawa State. So it is uh, an aberration, and uh, we are totally against it. They have uh, Aosa communities. You know, they should have their leadership. And uh, they have Muslim uh, communities. They should have their leadership, which, we, which is recognized by the Bini Traditional Council. So we cannot allow this uh, kind of uh, coronation. Because looking at the houses, where they are coming from, they are not even Nigerians. They are Arab, uh, whatever, Sheu Arab or so. They are not Nigerians, and uh, knowing what is going on around the world right now, the terrorist activities going on around the world, we are being careful. You know. So, Mr. Ogo, so, what can you tell us about this man, this, you know, Sultan Idris Adano? I don't know him. This is the first time I'm hearing about him, and. Uh, it, 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 it calls for worry because uh, he's not recognized. We don't know him. So it's uh, a lot of, uh, like uh, that has this, a lot of uh, issues. We are having uh, challenges in that uh, has this. You know, kidnapping, you know, our forests have been taken over by terrorists. And uh, these are non Nigerians. So for a non Nigerian to come to close to the palace of Yoba Benin, and he's saying he want to be coronated as a sultan. It is strange. And we are totally against it, and it will be resisted. So, Mr. Mr. Obo, when you said come yeah. close to the palace of the Oba of Benin, what do you mean? Did this sultan yeah. and his group actually come to the Oba of Benin for permission? Or how or what happened? Well, uh, I don't really know, know much about them. You know, it was uh, strange to us when we heard that... Uh, they are, they are going to coronate, we go saw the invitation of coronation. Uh, we, I cannot have two kings in the kingdom. You know, so what, what, what I mean by coming close, the houses they are coming from, where they want to do the coronation, is about a 25 minutes drive to the Oba Abini Palace. So it calls for worry. We are not comfortable with it and we are going to resist it. Okay, quickly share with us, you know, what the uh, current relationship is between uh, the uh, Edo indigents and the Muslim community, because Edo State does have its, you know, Muslim community. Um, yes, of course. In, you yes, know, of course. We have a Muslim community, and uh, it is being aided by Biniman. You know, so we are very careful and conscious about things like this. So that is why the Muslim community is headed by Biniman, and if anything go wrong, we hold that Biniman responsible. You know, so we cannot allow a stranger in our land, you know, because we have been having a series of uh, strangers coming into Benin Kingdom, trying to, to grab land, you know, and uh, we are very watchful and very careful, you know. Okay, would you expect that there should be a, also a response from the 
uh, palace of the Oba of Benin? Yes, the, the palace have responded because I am close to the palace. I am the private uh, land and uh, debt recovery agent to the Oba of Benin. So we have responded and uh, we don't know them. They are not recognized. You know. So um, we read a statement by the Edo State government. This was signed by Osaro de Oge, Secretary of the State um, Government yes. in Edo State. Um, yes. he, he basically went on to say that um, there have been complaints from indigents and residents of Edo State um, yeah. about this move. What, what are some of the complaints that you've heard from the residents now, not from the um, that, palace? Yeah, the, the government uh, took a very uh, pro, uh, proactive uh, measure, a proactive measure and uh, to respond immediately. Uh, you know, so that was, uh, that was a good one from the state government. And uh, I wish they, they, they get these people arrested. These people put, put, uh, trying to cause confusion, cause chaos, you know, to breach of security, you know, in the state. You know, you cannot come from a uh, Chad across a uh, Bonu state and come to Edo state and you want to coronate yourself as uh, a sultan. You know, in fact, that is uh, already criminal. So they need to be called and uh, questioned on their mission in Edo state. Now, uh, Mr. Ugo, I'm asking you, like, from the perspective of the residents, what, what really is their complaint? Are they scared that this might lead to something else? What exactly of, is the grievance of, of the residents? Of course, we have been having, a, we are in this country, we have seen what uh, the Fulani S men have been doing to our farmers. So they've taken over most uh, of our forest, doing uh, all sorts of uh, criminalities, kidnappings, arm robbery, and killings. So we cannot condone that, we cannot allow that to happen. You know, when eventually they, they swear themselves or coronate themselves as a, a sultan in our land. It's threatening and frightening. You um, know, so it will be resisted. And uh, for the sake of security, you know, the security agencies will take uh, adequate action because we cannot fold our hands and see this happen. Uh, what more would you expect from the um, uh, youth in Benin or in Edo State? Uh, who... uh, for, now, for now, we are uh, uh, appealing to the youth to calm down and let uh, see what the government, you know, the chief security of, uh, officer of the state, who is the state governor, is there. So we are watching them. Uh, if uh, nothing is done, the youth can take uh, for self help because uh, they, this is uh, endangering to our lives and our properties. Okay, so Mr. Ogo, you mentioned that this is a move, this coronation is a move that would be um, resisted. When you say you would resist this, um, could you explain how you mean? Would you be sending yes. delegations what, to the what team? I mean would you by be resisting okay? such a coronation is that one, it is strange to us, and two, we are going to lead protests against it. Okay. Uh, we don't, uh, we don't, uh, we don't go outside the law. So w w you would lead protests, right? This this coronation is due to hold um, tomorrow, tomorrow and next tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. So are you planning to protest today? Because it seems like a like a very short notice here. No, we cannot uh, act more than ourselves. We are watching the state government. We want to see what the state government want to do. Then uh, before we know what next to do. Okay. Right. So do you see you know any possibility? of this coronation being called off, maybe due to the response of the government and the people? It is better, it is called off to avoid the uh, chaos. All right, uh, Mr. Ubo, tell us a, li a little more about the um, Muslim community in Edo State, those in Edo North. Um, yeah, the, what's, what's the current relationship like with the rest of Edo State? Um, because I know that Edo are, has Muslims. Yeah, the, they are, the Muslims and the Christians here, they are living peacefully and uh, there is no, no problem. Not uh, until these uh, Fulani S men terrorists uh, attack on, on uh, innocent uh, people, you know, traveling, travelers across the state and uh, within the state. So a lot of uh, people are worried, you know. 
Would you, would you also describe this planned coronation as an insult to the Oba of Benin? Of course, it is. It is. It is a, it's a big insult not only to the Oba of Benin, to the Benin Kingdom, the people of Benin Kingdom. So we are not going to take it. I'm a Benin man, a very proud one at that. So we will not, and we will not, we will never accept such in our land. Okay, well, Thank you. It, um, it's, it's, it's important, you know, and that's one of the reasons I asked, you know, um, what uh, steps must be taken. It's also important to ensure that there is a maintained peace in a dual state. Um, yes. um, the state governor, of course, has uh, put out a statement from uh, Osao Dion Ogi. Uh, okay, so, yes. of course, we will be following and seeing how this uh, uh, turns out. Um, can, yes. you, can you also share with us, you know, exactly what location this uh, coronation is planned? Um, and you know how long these people have been in those uh, in that community. Uh, for I don't think uh, they, these people have been around for the, for the last uh, two three years because they are strange to us. You know, we only know that uh, they are Fulani, Katureras, uh, then uh, they are Aousa community who sells uh, tomatoes, onions, and all that in that asses. And uh, we will have a duke, because that's a duke done. You know, we have a duke that oversees that area on behalf of the Oba of Benin. So it is strange to us to see that uh, somebody is uh, bringing up his head, you know, to say if you want to be coronated in our land. So, so this we is can... not in, in Isako or the core Edo uh, North uh, region? No, no. It is uh, Ikubaoka close to Oredo, you know, and our other resides, our other palace resides at uh, Oredo, you know, so it calls for worry, you know, so I cannot go to, as a Benin man, go to Kano and say I want to be an Enogi of, of an area of my people, you know, so it is only the Oba that have the authority, the traditional authority to, to decide who and who are giving leadership, uh, traditional leadership, in the Benin Kingdom? Well, you know, I, I believe that there's also places where um, people have their own, you know, trad traditional leadership. It may not be as high as a sultan or an oba of course, or an of course. A, a no, we have, They have a sariki. They, yes. We know them to be having sariki, 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 funani. The, you know, the Muslim, they are within the Muslim communities because, you know, we have a Muslim leader who is a Bini man who controls all of them. You know, so this one coming to say he want to be a Sultan, uh, it is strange. It's an aberration and it's going to be resisted. All right. Um, Korti Subo, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We would like to speak with you again. Yeah, thank you for and then, um, Hopefully sometime next week, you know, after this you know, the events uh, that have been scheduled for tomorrow and next uh, uh, play out. And uh, if there's also any feedback that we'd like yeah. to get from you, we'll definitely we are waiting for the We are watching and waiting for the uh, state government to take appropriate action with the security agencies. Thank All right. you. Thank, Obo, you thank you very much, Mr. Obo. Thank you for having me. All right. All right. Um, Osarige, really looking at this matter, we discussed this earlier with Mr. Jide Johnson on of the press. And one of the things he said that I noted was that, um, is it important for us to really have traditional rulers in Nigeria? This is something that I know that it's highly debatable because we know the role of traditional rulers in the Nigerian setting, especially culturally, right? So um, I can imagine lots of people debating that with him, saying, you know, his call for, you know, the cancellation of this traditional leadership in Nigeria is not something that may hold much water. You know, we are it seems that we are fundamentally, you know, traditional when it comes to, you know, things like this regarding traditional rulers and obas. This is something that is our, has been our identity before colonization, before westernization, you know. But um, I think we need to make a divide between the, tra the accepted traditional leadership and an imposition, like what the um, state government is saying. You know, if something like this is to happen, you know, I feel that's why I asked him that, you know, did this group come to the palace to negotiate, to dialogue, to explain exactly what their intent is? It might be 
I have no well, idea the full think. scale of the situation, but it might just be their own sultan of maybe Muslims in the, in the community. I have no idea. But what I'm saying is there had to be, have been dialogue with the existing powers. So it doesn't seem like you're stepping on them or you're trying to encroach on their land or you know, the way it's been interpreted. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think they need to go to the palace. I think it's the Edo state government itself. You know, like J.D. Johnson had described that, you know, that's what gave the Kano state government the powers then to do what it did then with uh, the... Uh, Splitting of the Emirates um, into yeah, five, yes. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's left for the Edo state government. It's not, they don't need to go to the Obas palace. Or the Edo state but government. Think, but negotiations yeah. anyway is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, but I think it's, it's mostly because of the t tension across Nigeria today. You know, and that's why I had to keep mentioning the fact that there is a Muslim community in Edo state. There are actually um, Edo Muslims. The Edo North, you know, the Esako and, you know, Esan. Some of all those areas are um, mostly Muslims. Um, and they will have their, like he said, you know, their uh, Seriki, I believe, uh, who is some level of a traditional uh, leadership. But when you're talking of a sultan, that's a totally different level. And it's also, it's mm -hmm. really because of where Nigeria is today and the level of mistrust between, um, you a know, sadly, a certain and another, the yes. north and, you know, a lot of um, other parts of the country. And so, you know, like he said, you know, you would not go to Kano or go to Barno State and have an Enogi there or have an Oba of Bini people in Edo State. You wouldn't, you know, ever try that. So that's really where the, the issues are coming from. And so there's, there's, there obviously needs to be a lot more of these conversations. And it's important that they maintain that relationship that they've had. Uh, with the um, uh, Muslim community in Edo State and, you know, uh, normal Christian Edo indigents. Uh, they are part of, of Benin City that are really just Muslims. It's filled with Muslim traders, families, and, and the likes. That, that's really an area where they all live. Are they allowed to have a sultan? I do not think so. Uh, if it's possible, or would they you know, need to approach the Edo State government to give them, you know, the you know, leverage and the rights to have their own sultan, I also don't think the Edo State government will do that because it seems or it feels like an, an insult. You can have two kings, basically, regardless of what religions exist. You cannot necessarily have two kings. And so there's the Oba of Benin. There's not going to be another, you know, Oba-like figure in the same uh, um, space, city, in the yes. same space. But I also don't agree with G.J. Johnson, like you mentioned, um, you know, when he's talking about you know, removing traditional or oh, totally cancelling uh, them. Yes. No, I, I don't agree with that. For for the lot for the even before Nigeria became Nigeria, before the 1960, before you know all of that, there have always been traditional rulers. Um, some of our history books will tell you of you know Jaja of Opobo and you know about Vorame and some of all those people. Those have always existed, and you're not going to throw that away simply because of democracy, um, moderniz democracy and modernization. Some of all of that, they will always exist. You know what we can instead do is try to limit the the, um, the powers they the, have? Not limit the powers they have, but, you know, there's certain parts of religion, there's certain religious practices that we may need to, religious and traditional practice, rather, that we may, you know, look at and say, okay, this is no oh, longer definitely, progressive. definitely. This is no longer working, you know. We need Things to, that violate know, human rights and dignity. Absolutely, definitely. you know, some of all of that. And that goes across the whole country, including in the north. You know, every other week we talk about Hizba and some of the, what we excesses. think as excesses. So that's what we can do instead. But about taking it away completely, no. People need to have that, you know, traditional leadership. They need to always have that person who they, you know, see as a, a leader, as a ruler, who should be able to make the best decisions for his uh, people. The law of Warren's coronation, if you've, if you've been following the drama that has been, you know, um, occurring for the last um, couple of weeks, that's also because of the power that that leadership has. You're not going to go to your state and say, oh, the Yoni of, um, of uh, Ife is no longer relevant. <laughs> So, so the thing regarding this particular situation is we hope, oh, actually we, we can't wait to see what plays out tomorrow. They, they put all the details there, the hotel, where they're going to hold this coronation, the dates, the time and all of that. So let's, let's just wait and see. And keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that nothing violent, no violent news or report comes yeah. out from Edo State it, in the next two days. It might also, there's a word for this, but it might really just be a... Oh, this, as a term, you know, to this, but it might just be a little triggered, you know, to see how people react before that, that whatever the be main well, plan, oh. you know, is. <laughs> To test the waters. Conspiracy theories, yeah. They're just trying to test the waters to see how the reaction is before whatever main plan may exist, you know, you know, um, would come into play. Okay. And also seeing how um, the... And hopefully it doesn't get blown out of proportion. Hopefully this is where it ends. Because there's a way that this could occur, then it now becomes a national issue and starts to bring, you know, a totally different conversation entirely. Um, and nobody wants to see that because, like I said, they've lived in peace for, for centuries. 
And, you know, this is not going to be the reason um, why um, Northern or Edo Muslims will now start to have challenges in, in Edo State. I don't want that. Yes. Oh, right. Um, here's where we'll join the curtain on this conversation. We'll take a break here and return to talk about security in other parts of the world. We know the crisis right now in Afghanistan, and there's a new dimension there with the Taliban. Stay with us. <laughs> 